If you have never used the file manager that is part of the cPanel hosting panel, then you're really missing out on a lot if you're just using FTP. The file manager, as you can see here, if I go to cPanel, is a feature that I personally use, even though I use FTP a lot. I started using the file manager, not the legacy file manager, but the basic file manager. If I click on that, there is so much that you can do with this. And let me show you for an example. All right, so right now I am in my account and there's a lot of folders here and you probably don't know which folder to choose. But if you're using cPanel, what you wanna do is open drop that drop down, and find the public underscore HTML folder. That's the folder where all your files are located, pretty much. So, you, what you can do with File Manager is you can create a new folder, for example. You can create a new folder called Test. We can create a new folder called Test2. And then we can upload files to that folder by clicking Upload. And I like this feature, I use it all the time, especially because I, I go around and I travel around and sometimes I access a computer that does not have an FTP program. If it does not have an FTP program, then I can still use the cPanel's file manager system and all you have to do is browse for the file and upload it. Now, here's a trick that I found. Let's say, for example, that you're installing a script or let's say for me I'm uploading many many files so if I go to my file manager here and I go to my video area here let's see products in motion videos and I pick and choose a video series let's say for example I choose the Clickbank blogging review blogging video series. As you can see here, I've got a bunch of flash files, right? Let's say, for example, that I don't want to have to drag and drop, drag and drop, drag and drop all of these different files, right? What I could do is choose all of these files and make it simpler, I'll just choose two. And what I can do is zip these into a compressed folder I can add the archive, call it test2.zip, and we'll compress that. And as we can see here at the bottom, we've got a test2. And that test2.zip contains two files. Now I'm showing you this because it makes life so much easier. And if I go here and upload the files, I can simply find that file test2.zip and what cPanel will do is it'll upload the file. Now here's what I found. Some servers some, sometimes you'll run into this. The majority of you will not run into this. But in the past when I uploaded with FTP Surfer or Smart FTP Client or any FTP client sometimes it would cancel in the middle. cPanel is so much better when it comes to stability if you're uploading a file and you're worried that it'll cancel in the middle, I use this. So let's go ahead and zoom forward a bit and I'll let that upload and talk about the other areas. Let's say for example that I want to zip some of these files into a zip file. So let's say that I click the folders that I want to zip up. And when I do that, all I have to do is click this compress here, compress, zip, and we'll call it chosenfiles.zip. Click on compress file. And this is another great way to back up your files. For example, if, if I leave this right here in my folder and something happens to one of the scripts, I can always unzip it and it will go back to the normal within a few seconds. 
So once I've zipped that file, what I'm showing you here is the ability to zip up certain folders into one zip file and then you can download it if you want. Click on download and save the file and it will download the file as you can see. And it goes further than just uploading, creating new folders and extracting and compressing files. If I expand this a bit, you can probably see it better. But you'll notice that you have, you can select all, as you can see here. You can unselect all, you can reload the page, you can go up one level, go to home, and all that. Another thing that I found that is useful with the file manager is that you can actually edit the files on site. Here's what I mean. Notice that you have an HTML editor and a code editor. Let's say for example that I want to edit the one of these pages. Let's say the index.html file. If I click on it and I click on code editor or HTML editor. These are two different editors. It's sort of like an editor built within cPanel file manager which is very very convenient. Let's say that you don't want to have to download this index.html file and then edit it and then re-upload it. You can edit this on site. So let's say for example that you're a programmer and you know a little bit about HTML. If you click that, click on code editor, click on edit, You'll notice that cPanel gives you the option to edit the code. And you can close without saving or save the changes if you made changes. Now that's the code editor. Let me show you the HTML editor. If you click on the HTML file that you want to edit, and you, let's say you don't know anything about HTML. You click on HTML editor, a little WYSIWYG will actually come up. And it looks like this. It actually looks pretty nice. And what can, you can do is change the stuff. Let's say, like, oh, I'm going to change this, you know, this, this and that. Or you can, how to profits. You can bold this or change the color. So let's say to black, press OK. And you could do different things like, let's see, highlight this, let's say this one, press OK. And as you can see here, we have bold, highlighted, and you can change the font size, different font, basic fonts, font size, the different types of styles. And you can insert media, you can insert hyperlinks, insert pictures. And it's just like a basic WYSIWYG, but it's very, very useful. You can exit out of that if you're not sure, you don't want to change stuff, or you can go ahead and save. I'm just going to exit out because I don't want to actually save anything. And I'm going to exit out of that, and I'm back to the file manager. So it's very convenient. You can also create a new file. Let's say, for example, that I want to create a PHP file. and do that. So basically I'm showing you that you can do a lot with File Manager. Not only can you upload files, download files, compress, extract files or extract zip files. You can view files, you can change the permissions, you can do so much with that. And I have found personally that if, let's say for example that I'm installing a script and I have to upload all the files using the script. As long as the script doesn't require special permissions and things like that, you can zip it all you know, into this location and unzip it all within a few seconds. So I have found, personally, that File Manager has saved me more time than ever. Okay, so going back to the time where I was uploading the test2.zip file, if I want to extract this, all I have to do is click Extract, or if I right-click, you'll notice that I have a lot of options here too. So I extract, extract file, press close, and you'll notice that I have those two files that I zipped up. So you can see how convenient this is. And let's say I want to delete that. If 
I go here to test 2 and delete that delete file in there I'm good to go you can also search for files let's say for example that you have a ton of files and you don't know where to go you can search all your files either only in the public underscore HTML place or current directory so there you go